Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy bro, and I am your bro man. I've borrowed this motorcycle from a friend of mine. It is a 2018 Kawasaki Z900 RS. It's Kawasaki's retro looking naked bike. Now Kawasaki made this bike to pay tribute to one of their legends, the Kawasaki Z1. The Kawasaki Z1 came out in the early 70s and it was the fastest production motorcycle at that time. It had a top speed of 130, 135 miles an hour, which was really fast. 45 years ago and the Z900 RS picks up on some of those styling elements. It's got the naked frame, it's got this old school fuel tank, this old school seat, you have the retro round mirrors, you have the retro gauges. It is actually a very good looking bike. Now don't confuse the Z900 RS with the Z900. The Z900 RS uses the same engine as the Z900, but that engine is detuned. But this bike is still quite quick and it's still a lot of fun to ride. Check out those exhaust headers, they look beautiful. You see the gauges on two, the two ends and it's got the little LED display in the middle that shows you which gear you're on, the time, miles. So there's mounting points here and here for bungee cords, saddlebags, anything like that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm itching to get on this bike and take it for a spin. <laughs> this bike just loves to lean. <laughs> this is very 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 well balanced if you read up online about this motorcycle you'll see that people say it's a lot of fun to go canyon carving and whatnot with it and i can see why it's got decent power and it's very well balanced and it loves to lean it's so nimble but yeah i love the little retro touches to this motorcycle there's no getting around that this is a little bike, uh, this is not a very long bike, this is quite uh, quite compact so it's, it's a lot of fun to flick it around uh, and all the good stuff. Once you start riding this bike, you start to understand why, why this bike is so loved uh, by, by, the, by the crowd, it is, uh, it's, it's powerful enough just just powerful enough and it's it's a lot of fun so we know it's got some decent it's got a decent engine and some decent torque and power let's see how how fun is it in a straight line let's find out <laughs> so it goes it really goes <laughs> this is fun in a straight line and i'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun to go around some twisties so let's take a look It's very good in the straight line it's a lot of fun around some curves and bends this is a very well put together bike um, and this being a Japanese 
um, and this being a Japanese motorcycle there's gonna be a ton of aftermarket options that you can buy but this bike is pretty much bone stock this came as it is oh that exhaust just sounds really really good let's go ahead let's pull over and let's talk about the cost of hi guys it's me so this motorcycle is about one and a half years old and it just has about 2,000 miles on it and the only maintenance that has been done on this was a full service that cost about 180 bucks so that's the break-in service so flushing out everything so that's 180 bucks over one and a half years that's about 33 cents a day did the punk just do the cost of ownership oh man he is so annoying he gets on my nerves but anyway let's get back to talking about this awesome bike let's start off with the riding position so the riding position is very comfortable you're sitting up quite upright not completely upright but you're not stressed over like <laughs> you were like I was on my R1 this is a very comfortable seating position the throttle response is is very good and the braking is amazing and it just rides so smooth uh, it's beautiful it's beautiful yeah brand new this motorcycle would have been somewhere about 11 to 15 thousand dollars I think uh, and and these have a real target segment or people who just love the ret the people who love the retro feel of this motorcycle people who love naked bikes and this just brings back memories for folks who uh, who love the Z1 back in the day so yeah you can if you look at your local if you want something used you could probably look up your local Facebook marketplace or Craigslist now these would be hard to come by uh, and I'm assuming you can find one for somewhere in the seven to nine or seven to ten thousand dollar range now is this bike for beginners I would say yes if you're a beginner don't be afraid uh, as long as you're of decent height like I'm about 5'10 and I can just about flat footed so it's a, it's kind of it's a little bit of a tall bike but it also comes with another seat which will lower the riding position uh, yeah, which will lower your seat height a little bit um, but yeah is this it would be a good bike for beginners I mean you could don't get me wrong you could still get into some trouble if you <laughs> if you really want to but the power is very usable and it's it's not it's not the scary kind of power it's a very linear power and it's got all the characteristics of a four cylinder of an inline four it's very smooth in its power delivery you get power throughout the power band so it's very nimble it's very well balanced so i think this would be a great bike for a beginner to hop on with that being said let's head back uh, let's let's go back and wrap this video up so let's give it a bromance course shall we so on the looks i'll give it a 7 out of 10. on the brop it's not the loudest uh, but it's pretty decent i'll give it a 7 out of 10. on the maintenance it's very low maintenance so it gets a high score it's a 10 out of 10. on the comfort it's pretty comfortable for a city bike so i'll give it a 8 out of 10. and that gives us a combined bromance score of 8 out of 10. so the kawasaki z900 rs it's a fun bike it's it's a throwback heritage bike uh, Kawasaki was trying to pay tribute to the Kawasaki Z1 but the Z900 RS is not gonna set any speed records it is a very comfortable usable bike it's great for beginners it's great for running errands around town going on shorter rides or semi long rides it looks really cool it sounds pretty awesome you're not gonna get a lot of speed or a lot of performance out of it but it will get the job done. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel. Let me know about your thoughts in the comment section below. Check out my Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Until next week, bye.